Hello, everybody. Immigration lawyer Watabe from Office Beyond. Thank you, uh, thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. Naturalization. In other words, Japanese passport or citizenship application by application by Japanese word kika. In the last two videos, I explained what condition you need you need in order to apply naturalization and how the procedure is like. In the third video, I will explain what documents you need to process for the application. As I told you in the first video, at the first interview at Bureau of Legal Affairs, Home Kyoku, if interviewer sees you are ready to apply, he gives you the list of requirements. Then you need to get various documents from your country. Okay, sorry. So then you need to uh, prepare to get various documents from your country and in Japan. Besides those documents, you need to process some other documents by yourself or with a lawyer's support like us. You will be given hard copies of format after the first interview. Formats will be slightly different up to each bureau. I will show you the uh, formats one by one and explain in this third video. As you will see, everything is in Japanese. See, like this. This is the first main page of the main sheet of the application. You need to fill in only in Japanese. You cannot use in you cannot use English alphabet. So for following names and locations, you have to be written in Japanese katakana. Here's a okay, and here's the first one in the upper part here is main information about yourself. Here's nationality, kokseki, birthplace, shushochi, current address, jusho. and your name and date of birth. You need to use Japanese calendar for naturalization application. So for example, if you are born in 1970, your birth year should be Showa, so this letter Showa, Showa 45. Then the, uh, the date of the order of the date is in, in Japan is year, month and day okay then your father's name and mother's name and the below part here you need to fill in your ponseki after you become japanese here so every japanese has ponseki it is main domicile where your koseki is registered koseki is family registration being a Japanese citizen means holding own koseki. And here, your Japanese name. You can use your original name with Japanese katakana, or you can create any name like Tanaka. Here, the uh, surname is first Tanaka, Ichiro, or Ono, Yoko. So any name is okay, you can, you can use it. Filling this form might be the last thing during uh, your, prepa your preparation. Next is your history from birth to date. You need to write everything in detail without any gap. When you moved into the new address and out, of the, out from there in your country and in Japan, you need to write year, month, date by Japanese calendar. And here the, uh, the address. And here, uh, if you enter the school and, or high schools, so everything you have to write. So without any gap. And 
This is another record about entry and exit Japan. You can get information from old passport. But for our clients, we request all his, uh, all his record from immigration. Generally, this is the first thing to do for our client along the procedure. Immigration keeps all record for your residing information and entry exit. And here you need to write total number of dates you were out of Japan within five years. So like this is for five years, you need to write when you out, when you in, and how many days are out, where you go, and for what purpose and with whom. And so this is the, uh, how many days you are out, and here total uh, date, total days you are out of Japan. So if you have, if this big, if he, this number is big, your application would be hard to be approved. Okay, next one. So this is your family information. You need to write about parents and all siblings, then your spouse and children. So if you have seven siblings and everybody is here, you have to write uh, the name in katakana and date of birth in Japanese calendar, and age here, and uh, occupation, and address. Again, all in katakana, right? So this is about your family. And this one is about your family's monthly financial situation. You need to fill in very in detail, like your monthly salary, side income, if any, and about expense for equivalent, food, education, loan, and something more. If you have any loan, you need to explain about it here. Having loan itself is, is okay, so it, it, doesn't, it, it is not bad. But if your expenses are more than your income, it should be a big problem. And moreover, if you earn something without declaration, it would affect your application too. And next one, this is uh, about your family's asset, shares expensive items like a car and saving. If you own some asset in your country, you need to declare it here and submit some documents with Japanese translation. My office could uh, support to make a Japanese translation, but this kind of a document, land contract is table. Okay, and now this is map about your residential idea. So you need to write, or you need to write or uh, paste the Google map here. Uh, so about uh, around uh, your uh, residential area. If you moved in the past three years, you need to submit maps of all locations. But the guideline is different up to each bureau about this form. So this, is info this information is necessary for the officer to visit your residential area and check your everyday, everyday living situation. So here from the nearest situation, uh, uh, so when where is the nearest situation and how if you take a bus so from what bus stop where and if you uh if walk from the st uh, station how many minutes so this is for officer to visit your uh residence and the same as this this is about uh your working place again using this map they will visit your working place and investigate what you are doing exactly. They do not notice you that they are going today or tomorrow. Without any notice, they're gonna visit your working place and investigate, see what you are doing there. At last, this is format named Dokisho. Doki is reason. 
you need to explain why you want to be a Japanese. Other documents can be filled with typing, but dokisho need to be written by your hand. If my office supports your application, we would process this statement cooperatively. So after hearing from you well, I will provide a draft and you could write according to the draft. So those are basic requirements. If you have lots of siblings and already mailed it, the documents you need to process are more. And longer you have been staying in Japan, the more documents you need. If they see some mistakes and short of information on application documents, they ask you to revise, collect it repeatedly. They don't accept your application unless all documents are well prepared. Beside those forms, you need to submit copy of all pages of your bank book and passports and diploma and something. So this is a and there is a guideline how to make copies of passport and bank book. So you need to follow it. After all documents are submitted, they start the, their investigation taking more than a year. Mainly what they do is checking whether all information on the documents is true. At the first interview, they do screening if you are qualified to apply naturalization and if your, exper uh, if your application documents have mistakes, they would not accept your application. So comparing PL application, once your naturalization application is accepted, you would have high possibility to get approved. But denial application occurs by various reasons. When your PL application is disapproved, immigration will tell you the reason in detail. But for naturalization, Bureau of Legal Affairs doesn't release the reason generally. Therefore, the application is difficult for naturalization. Okay, so here's, I'm gonna uh, tell you the uh, typical denial reasons. Of course, uh, first of all, so uh, if, the, uh, they, if the Bureau of uh, Legal Affairs recognize your Japanese level is not enough by the test, it is the reason you have, uh, it is the reason of the denial. But for this case, you have a chance to reapply, just study more. And now we're working with the holders. Mismatch, visa status, visa type, and actual job, actual activities might be most possible reason for denial for working holders, working visa holders. If you get Engineer Humanities International visa because you explain your job is office clerk like an accountant, but actually you are doing whole job at restaurant. Or if you say your job is skillful mechanical mechanic, but actually you are working in the line at, at factory. Those mismatch would be the reason of denial. This is also common denial reason for PL application as well. Moreover, doing a side job without extra work permit might be the reason of denial too. Then, if you stay outside for long, might be a reason of denial too. But we could know it before starting the proce uh, procedure generally. So if, if my office support your, your application, it would not happen. I always advise you are not ready for naturalization before applying if I notice this kind of a situation. Then unreliable documents. 
Well, I think all Japanese documents are somehow reliable for most cases, but documents from overseas are sometimes recognized as unreliable, including birth certificates, diploma, and so on. So please, please, so please secure everything by yourself. And if your family, spouse, and uh, minor children are staying in your country separate from you, it would be the reason of denial. They consider if you're really willing to stay in Japan as a Japanese, you're supposed to bring your family to Japan. Well, but if you have any uh, some special reason for living separately, so they might accept your excuse, so please explain it uh, them well. And next, violation in the past like overstay, traffic violation, and so on. If it happened decades ago, like you overstayed uh, 20 years ago, and you get a, a, a visa now uh, after a uh, special um, special staying permit, uh, special permit of staying, Zairyu Tokubets Kyoka. So, and you explain it at the first interview, then they accept your application. It would not be the reason of denial. What they really hate is being cheated, being hidden something. So do not hide anything against them. At last, as I mentioned in the first video, giving up your own nationality is big issue for your life. So please think well and discuss well with your family before applying. That is my video about naturalization, naturalization application. I explain only basic matters. If you have any specific concerns, please feel free to contact my office, my office beyond. Here's our office information. So this is our Facebook and phone number at office and site and email address. So any, any so you can contact me so either way, if you happen to watch this third video at first, please watch the first and the second uh, one. So this is the third video, okay? So, and, and then uh, with all, watching all three videos, you could get a full idea about Japanese naturalization. Thank you for watching till end. See you next time. Bye-bye.